What's going on everyone? Hope everyone is having a great day. I'm on my way to go look at a location that I'm gonna do my next shoot at. Before I go scout that location, I wanted to go to the location I went to on Sunday where I had the most amazing photo shoot I've ever had and honestly, the first photo shoot I've ever had. See, ever since I picked my first camera four years ago, I've always gotten the question from people, do you do photos? I think for the most part, people's first reaction when they see someone holding a the camera, they think they're a photographer, not a videographer. So starting 2018, one of my goals was to get serious about photography and it just makes sense because I have a camera, why not use it to a full potential and do photography and videography. One of the things that was holding me back was the fact of my location, which is Reading, Pennsylvania. If you don't know anything about Reading, do a quick Google. So to all my aspiring photographers, it's not about the city you're in. It's not about the island you're in. It's about how you take photos, your perspective, your unique outlook. Honestly, I had a great chemistry with Norris, who was the model. Um, we've been friends since high school, but I just reconnected with her and she was just a natural and she really just brought out the most of me in my photography, I believe. And Honestly, the best photos I've ever taken of someone. So I'm gonna head back to that location we shot in, show you how I shot some of those photos. But the main reason I'm coming back is because I forgot to get behind the scenes footage. So I'm just gonna reenact some of the ways I was framing the photos so you can get a glimpse of how I did it. The shooting at this hotel really opened my eyes on creativity, framing, posing, and just using your location to your best of your ability to really create beautiful photos. As you can see, it's obviously a grand looking hotel, but it's pretty you know, dingy and dark, but you, you come here with the natural light. When I saw this section of the hotel, I immediately knew that this is where I wanted to start shooting because the natural light that was pouring in from that big window above the sofa was giving an amazing reflection on this glass table of the model. I kneeled down, I told Norris, just look out into the window and I snapped this photo. This is probably my favorite photo from that entire shoot just because of the uniqueness of that reflection from this glass table, which was dirty, but it still came out to our advantage. Then the next pose I decided to go with was to tell Norris to put her feet on the sofa and lay all the way back and just use the book that I told her to bring as a prop and just really stare into it and pretend she was reading it. And I wanted to really capture a natural smile from her, um, just really something engaging as if she was enjoying that book. And that's exactly what we captured. Some of the best photos from this shoot were uh, this section right here where I kneeled down and I knew I specifically wanted to frame Narisa's head with one of the linings of that window. And I had told her to cross her arms inside her legs and just stare onto space. And this is one of the photos we captured. Then I told her to pose a little bit differently, really open up to show her frame, show her figure, um, and yet again, stare out into space and captured a really nice silhouette, I believe. Then I got up real close. I really wanted to get a more sexy, intimate shot. I told her to look into the camera, keep that same pose she had, tilt her head towards me, and we got this bad boy right here. The inspiration for shooting at this location was this section right here, this huge grand door with the big window above it. Um, it was just pouring a lot of natural light and I knew it was gonna be a real dope place to get some dope shots so i decided to grab one of the chairs and tilt her back and give it a gravity defined shot um, i think it was really unique just real different then i just had to stand right next to the door to get all the natural light to shine in her face and just got some real dope intimate portraits right here This is the last location we shot in, which is completely shut down. Um, it used to be a restaurant slash bar in this hotel, but the hotel is pretty much now just apartments. They're not using the restaurant anymore, but in there we got these portraits. Those were some of the photos that I got to shoot with Norris that day. Honestly, I think it's so underrated how important it is to have chemistry with a model. I just had a ton of fun with her. We just really came up with some creative ideas, some dope ideas to really throw in there to show obviously her outfit, show obviously her style, but also get some of that um, natural posing, some of the natural expressions as well. Again, like I said, it's really important to use any location, whether you're in Reading, Pennsylvania, whether you're in a hotel, whether you're in some exotic island to your best of your ability, but also shoot from your perspective and get an actual unique style because that's what's very important in my opinion in photography, which is what I'm learning right now because this is the first photo shoot with someone that I've ever had where we scattered a location. She had an idea of what she wanted to wear. 
I had an idea what I wanted to do with some of the shots and this is the execution. This is what we came up with. So for any aspiring photographers, I hope I was able to give you some a bit of advice from an aspiring photographer as well. If you want to check out the gear that I used to capture these photos, it was with the Sigma 16 millimeter at 1.4 and the Sony a6500. I'll have them linked in the description. Make sure to go follow Maurice. I'll have her Instagram link below as well. If you purchase through those links, it gives me a little bit of commission. It helps out support my channel. So thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave any feedback you have of these photos or any criticism, any commentary you might have in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.